How do you change the background in PowerDirector 18 to something else is what one of my subscribers asked me if I could do. Now, I'm going to take a video and drop it on the second line. And I'm going to cut it so we can make this tutorial pretty quick. I'm going to pick any picture and put it on the top line. And that's what we're going to be running there. I'm even going to disable the um, video, the audio, because we don't need to see, hear that. So here's my general setup. We've got our video on the bottom second line, and we've got whatever we're going to change our background to on the first line. And we're going to do this out of Color Director. So we're going to click Tools, and we're going to go into Color Director to actually achieve this. Now, in Color Director, we're going to do some masking. So I'm going to click the um, Motion Tracking Mask. And this is where you set your size. And I'm going to basically color myself in to um, get a mask around me. And that's not too bad. I got a little bit sticking out here, as you noticed. I'll try and clean that up just by going along the edge. And then I'll click my brush back on. And there we go. Now we're going to start motion tracking myself. And we're going to hit start. And then we're actually going to hit stop. And you'll notice this here is sticking out, which I can erase. Now you can do this frame by frame. Like I can back this up a frame. And notice it's sticking out there. Take it out. Back it up a frame. Take it out. And, and basically what this is doing is putting keyframes in. That's what it's doing. And you can do this over and over and get it all out to make it really smooth. But I'm not going to do that through this. This is just an idea. You can go frame by frame. And uh, I want to get to the end here so I can show you what I've done. If it doesn't look too bad. I'll stop there. Clean that up a little bit. And go ahead again. Last part of my head. And like I said, you can click the less than greater than here. You see that? And we can back it up and do frame by frame and clean that mess up. Make it look a little prettier. Continue on. Give me back my head. Continue on. I'd normally stop it and then remove this here and go frame by frame basically. Like so. Now, once we get myself all tracked in and we've got the mask around me, almost done here. Oh, I should do my head. It's kind of a big spot. Continue on. And there we go. We're all done. Okay, so I got the mask around me. Now, the key to this is, is this up here. It says invert mask. And now everything outside of me has been inverted. Now, a lot of people, normally what they'll do is they'll crank the exposure down, crank the brightness down, and crank the contrast up. That's normally what everybody does. And then they'll go into the green screen section of PowerDirector and they'll hit it. But I've got black in my jacket. That's actually going to disappear. And what a lot of guys will do too is they'll come down here Okay, and we'll go for color replacement, and we'll select the black. So now we got black as color replacement. Then they'll select here, and they'll hit the green screen. Notice what happened. What a mess. So I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to show you what I do. We're going to set all this back so it's all back to normal. Okay. I'm going to go down here. 
where this thing was used and I'm going to turn it off. So this is what we got. Now what I'm trying to do is get this background to be as green as possible. So I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to work with my RGB channel here. And you'll see how that's changing there. So I'm going to move it there and then I'm going to bring it down to where my green is here. And what happens if I go right? We got purple. Let's go left. We got some green. Let's go left. We got major green. Much better. Again here maybe I'll take the blue and go right a little bit. That's a little bit better. We took some of that out. So maybe if we come up and we do the red to the right too. It didn't do a whole lot of changing. Now we've got a green line here. I'm going to take this and move this all the way up here if I can. As far as I can. Now that got me a lot of green. See that? That's awesome. And we could probably play with these a little bit. That didn't do a whole lot. Come back. Now, if you mess up when you're playing with these and you don't like what it's doing, I kind of like that. Just click the arrow. And uh, I can say don't show this again so I don't keep seeing this box. So I could take the green, crank it. And that give me like a blue, but I still got some little whites here. I wonder if I can... Get those little whites out. Not that I'm seeing. Down I'll come some more. Let's see what happens here. And I'll come down. You notice I'm just kind of hitting everything with green. Now I imagine I could use this now and go for the white. And that got me more green in there with the color replacement. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to go back to um, Power Director. But you'll see I didn't mess with the exposure brightness or anything in here because when I do, for some reason, Power Director 18, it doesn't do what I want it to do. I actually came down here and started messing with my graphs to get myself a green color the best I can. Okay, so let's go back. So that looks pretty good. Now we make sure we've got it um, highlighted. And uh, we could go into the PIP Designer now. Or we can double click it to go into the PIP Designer. And here we are loaded up. We're going to turn on the chroma key. We're going to eyedropper it. And uh, that doesn't look too bad. we got some green here though. Maybe I could add a new key. And maybe I could get that one. Not bad. And yeah, maybe I could add even another one. And maybe I can get this one here. That's better. Now, I can play with these numbers here. My color range and my denoise. Not too bad. And to get these a little bit more perfect. So I'm going to say OK. And we're going to go back to this screen. I need to stretch out this uh, winter land here I did. And that looks pretty good. So now when I actually hit play, it uh, has me walking around in a totally different background. Now you'll see I got a little bit here I'd have to play with. And of course, I didn't do my motion tracking very good on my head, but that came out pretty good. Now keep in mind, this ain't a one-shot deal. Like I can go back into Color Director and I can click Tools and go to Color Director and go back in. So now I've come back in the Color Director. All I got to do is click over here where it says Motion Tracking again. Make sure that's selected and then make sure I select my mask. And now I'm ready to play in here. And here was my problem right here, was this here. So I mean, 
all you got to do really is play with your dials and notice it disappeared there. I could bring up my temperature a little bit and that got it pretty good. So really to do this you're messing with these here with your graphs. So I'll give that a try see if that works for your background. Got a little bit of green on the top right. See that there? I'm going to kind of hit that with this. It's not showing in this image. Why? I get it? Yeah, that got it there. I just had to bring my tolerance up a little bit. So if my motion tracking would have been a little bit better, that would have been that would have been dead on. So if you want to change the background on your actual videos, then play with the meters when you get inside Color Director more so than anything else to get everything lined up. Let me know if that works out for you. Catch you on the next one.